Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on reflection in mirrors. The topic of this video is Introduction to Curved Mirrors, and we want to know what are curved mirrors, what are the terms used to describe curved mirrors, and how does light reflect off of a curved mirror. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. Sadly, there are people that believe that mirrors are flat. They're blind to the fact that mirrors can be curved. The fact is, curved mirrors are everywhere. You can find them on the side of your car in order for you to view what's in your blind spot. You can find them on your vanity in order for you to get a close-up of your face. You can find them in stores and shopping malls that are used to prevent the so-called five-finger discounts. You can find them at the Carnival's Funhouse. You can find them at the end of driveways or in hallways at your school in order for you to see around a blind corner. You can even think of a satellite dish as being a mirror, not a mirror of visible light, but a mirror of communication signals. They reflect those signals to a point, a detector. Curved mirrors are everywhere. We will be discussing two types of curved mirrors, concave mirrors and convex mirrors. They're both examples of what we would call a spherical mirror. You can picture it this way. You begin with a sphere and you cut off a portion of that sphere. Then you silver either the inside or outside of the sphere and you have a convex or concave mirror. If you silver the inside of the sphere, you have a concave mirror. Concave mirrors are quite interesting because they produce varied results. They produce images that can be magnified or reduced in size relative to the object. They can be inverted or upright relative to the orientation of the object, and they can be real or virtual. If you silver the outside of that sphere, you would end up with a convex mirror. Convex mirrors always produce the same types of images, images that are reduced in size, that are upright, and virtual. It's important to understand the anatomy of a curved mirror, terms that are used to describe it. Each of the terms have geometric meaning. The diagram shows a concave mirror. You'll notice a line connected to its surface is extended outwards, and along the line are two points labeled C and F. The point C is known as the center of curvature, it's the center of the sphere from which the mirror was cut. The radius of curvature is the distance from the mirror along the line to the point C. It's the radius of the sphere from which the mirror was cut. And then there's the principal axis. That's an imaginary line that extends from the surface of the mirror through the center of the, sp of the sphere from which the mirror is cut. The focal point, marked F on the diagram, is the midpoint between the center of curvature and the mirror surface, and the focal length, marked little f on the diagram, is a distance measured from the focal point to the mirror. For best results, you need to understand and know the meaning of these five geometric terms. There are two points, the focal point, marked F, and the center of curvature, marked C on the diagram, two distances, the focal length, marked with a little f, and the radius of curvature marked with an R on the diagram. And finally, the principal axis. When any ray of light strikes a curved mirror, it will reflect according to the law of reflection. But there are two rules that describe two specific ray types that are worth remembering. The first rule is this. Any ray of light that is traveling parallel to the principal axis on its way to the mirror will strike the mirror, reflect, and pass through the focal point, as shown on the diagram. The second rule is almost the opposite of the first, that if a ray of light passes to the focal point on the way to the mirror, when it reflects, it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. This photo shows four laser light lines traveling towards a concave mirror. On the way to the mirror, they're traveling parallel to the principal axis. You can see that upon reflection, they pass through the same point. That point is known as the focal point. This gives us a new definition of focal point. It's the point lying along the principal axis where light incident to the mirror and traveling parallel to the principal axis will come together or converge. It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a question or comment in the comment section below. Now for your action plan. Here are three resources that you can find on our website. We have left links to each in the description section of this video. The first is a simulation page that allows you to experiment and alter a variable and observe the results. The next two pages are tutorial pages upon which this video tutorial was based. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H, and I thank you for watching.